Hi guys, welcome. This is the Earth Sign Weekly Energy Reading. Um, I'm doing things a little bit differently. I wanted to kind of have myself on camera and then also I'm pulling the cards so you can kind of see that as well. So the video is going to be vertical. Sorry if that annoys you. Um, you'll It really won't matter when you're looking at it from your cell phones, but <laughs> I apologize if it's annoying. Um, so I'm just trying the different ways out. I'm really trying to find like my niche when it comes to these weekly energy readings because I know um, a lot of people love them or hate them. So I just want to see like what, what kind of sticks and what doesn't and we're just going to go from there. So um, I'm using nothing but Rider weight decks so that we don't have to worry about what the cards look like and whatnot. I'm just going to be pulling Rider weight all over the place. <laughs> So my earth signs, we're starting with the six of pentacles, um, the eight of cups, and the justice card for you guys. Um, what I'm seeing for the energy of this week for you guys is um, the balance between your energetic exchanges with other people, finances, your job, um, projects, your interaction with people, places, things, okay? Um, a lot of that is going to be influenced this week for you guys, it seems, um, with that six of pentacles coming up. Because the Eight of Cups is coming up, I'm seeing that there's going to be some earth signs that are going to need to practice the whole placing themselves placing themselves outside of an equation. There's going to be some sort of interaction between you and another person, or you're going to be observing interactions taking place between other people. And it's going to be really, really wise and necessary for you guys, some of you, not all of you, but some of you guys, to walk away from this. Um, sometimes the energy is just not worth it. Um, sometimes you guys need to just, you know what I mean, like look the other way. Um, it's not it's not going to be worth it for some of you. Um, justice card is coming up, so there could be some earth signs this week that will be receiving, feeling like you guys are, are receiving what you were owed, um, receiving that final like justice is being served kind of a kind of a feeling um you guys will kind of see finalities with projects and whatnot and you'll know that the end result is exactly fair and just um but i do feel like some of these interactions that you're going to be having whether it's other people that are it's like someone else's business and you're observing or <laughs> or um or it's you yourself involved, that Eight of Cups is kind of a, a gentle warning that sometimes no action is the best action. Um, and simply walking away from a treacherous, annoying, frustrating situation. So I'm gonna be shuffling the cards. This is, I'm gonna be pulling from three different um, Rider Waite decks for the three different signs because I don't wanna I don't want to waste too much time shuffling every single, <laughs> like shuffling or reshuffling the deck. Okay. So yeah, energy exchanges seems to be the number one topic from my earth signs this week. All right, so Let's start with um, let's start with my Taurus. So Taurus, you guys specifically, you have Temperance, you have the Ten of Cups, and you have the Eight of Pentacles. So I like to pull in threes, by the way. <laughs> um, you guys have Temperance, Temperance, Sagittarius, Vibration. Um, you guys have Ten of Cups, which is Mars in Pisces. Um, and you guys also have Saturn in Taurus or the nine, no, the seven of pentacles. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so Taurus specifically for you guys, the main thing of focus right now is family. Okay. Your family interactions, your, the way that you guys approach your family settings, whether your family has to do with the extended family, or this is like between you and a lover, um, or this is just you yourself and your pets. Um, or your home life. That Ten of Cups is, is really showing um, the energy exchanges within your home life is how I'm seeing that. Um, some of my Tauruses might be feeling a little bit, kind of a little bit bored, right? There may be a need for some of you guys to switch up the, switch up your attitude, right? With work and money wise, because this is Pentacles. 
You might be bored with your belongings, bored with your possessions. Um, some of you guys are needing a little bit of a change or a switch up with your typical routine. Um, I also see the Seven of Swords, I mean Seven, I'm sorry, Seven of Pentacles also. Funny enough, it's to me this looks like gardening work. <laughs> so literally some of my Taurus vibes, um, you get you guys know that you have a weekend of gardening on you know on the horizon, and some of you are just like, I have way too much else to, to worry about. But you know what, you guys, with that, with that um seven of, of pentacles, if you are into gardening and whatnot, and as a as an earth energy as an earth sign you guys most likely are into the outdoors and whatnot this could actually be a sign for you guys to spend a little bit of your extra time outside um outdoors doing the yard work something to busy your mind if you are preoccupied with your thoughts we also see the temperance card coming up and the temperance card is that patience and that balance so you guys have a double balance this week um, with the with the justice and with the temperance, there could be some big decision makings on the horizon. There could be some big you know decisions between you and another person, especially if there's that energy exchange happening. And that temperance card is asking you guys to really weigh out your options before um, moving forward with something. So this probably can. I'm feeling for you for most of you guys, this is going to have to do with the home life and like you know you know your chores and like. Simple things like that, but for some of you, this could also be a big financial break or a big financial change on the horizon, okay? So that's for my Taurus. Okay, let's do... Um, uh, <laughs> what's my other, uh, my other sign? Virgo. Okay, Virgos. So you guys have the lovers. You guys have the seven of pentacles as well. And the six of pentacles. Okay, so Virgos, um, definitely Virgos. This, like I said, this energetic exchange between you and someone else or viewing it of other people and you're kind of on the outside. Double six of pentacles there. Um, this is definitely going to hit you personally this week. Um, this could also be how much of your advice and how much of yourself are you willing to give to others? Um, is this a free thing? Is this a free favor that you're doing for others? Or is this something that, that, um, you're getting paid for? So some of my Virgos, if you guys are readers, um, or you're energetic healers or, or, or you have some sort of practice where you, you know, you do some sort of exchange, um, some sort of some sort of healing or work in exchange for payment or money, um, then this is definitely going to be speaking to you. You guys have the seven of pentacles at the core of your of your reading. So this is telling me some of my Virgos are really second guessing um, some of the projects that are at hand for you guys. There's some boredom there. It's pentacles. You guys have a hell of a lot of pentacles in your reading. So this is kind of telling me financial matters, material matters, okay? Um, so it, like I said, it, this won't resonate with everybody and this could be a little bit too specific for some people, but um, so for some of my Virgos, this could be you guys are, are um, switching out the furniture in your home or this is a financial... Um, a financial matter um or some of you guys are like i said doing the yard work or switching things up with the way your house looks um the lover's card is popping up and i feel like with virgos there needs to be paying more attention to that significant other or a special partner in your life um lovers doesn't always have to mean romantic partners um so this could also be because it's with pentacle suits this could be someone you work with, a coworker. Um, this could be working with that bond, that exchange with that person. Um, you might, with that, that seven of pentacles might display, you guys have something on your heavy on your mind and there's like a big topic of, of conversation that needs to happen. And the lover's card also reveals choices. So having to make a choice or having to decide between one or the other, which is making a choice, um, or having to, you know, Maybe some of my Virgos are coming up to like that split, that fork in the road, and you guys are having to really decide right or left, right? Or do I continue going straight the direction that I've been going? Do I really need to make some major changes in the financial department or should I stay and, and maintain um, I also kind of see with love matters. So those of you guys who are in relationships, married, um, you're dating, you're living with somebody special. Um, I also feel like there's this, an escapism here with that eight of um, cups. 
So Virgos, if you're if you're if you're not willing to stick around and listen, this new moon in Pisces that we are having today could really be affecting the relationship. Um, Virgos, you are opposite Pisces, and so sometimes you and Pisces are like head on, right? You guys don't always get along. Um, so I feel like this this Pisces season that we are in, some of my Virgos, you might be feeling like you're really drowning in this season. Um, and so if you're finding yourselves like that, um, that Eight of Cups kind of shows maybe a need for taking a break or taking a step, a momentary step back so that you guys can refocus and re, you know, <laughs> rethink your next course of action, okay? And lastly, we're going to talk to my Capricorns. So Capricorns, you guys have the Fool, Knight of Swords, and Three of Pentacles. So Capricorns, um, the core of your reading, the core of your week um, is the Knight of Swords. This is very swift, swift energy. This is very impulsive energy, quick to action, needing to get things done. You have a full card coming up. So some of my Capricorns can be, you know, this could be the beginning of something new this week. So some of you could be stepping in swiftly into a new job or a position at work. Some of you guys could be sticking into or swiftly moving into a new project that you just started or um, a new relationship typical things like that, um, or simply this can just be the energy um, that you feel this week. So some of you guys might be waking up on Monday, <laughs> tomorrow, um, feeling like you're just ready to go and you're all pumped and powered up, you know? That full card is like, be adventurous and be, be open to these new experiences, Capricorns. Don't be closed off and closed-minded to it. That Three of Pentacles is rebuilding. So some of you guys could be um, maybe working at rehashing things in a relationship or a friendship. Um, and like I said, that energy exchange, it's, is it worth it? I think that's the main question you guys got to ask yourselves. Is this worth it to me? What do I get out of this? What does the other person get out of it? Are we both happy? Um, so literally, if that kind of rings a bell for you, that's probably one of the main things you guys need to focus on. Um, you have a lot of action in your, in your week, you guys. You have rebuilding, creating action. You have that full energy, which is like, just ready to like dive into a new project or to jump off that cliff and I don't care who's there to catch me or what's gonna happen to me in the end, but I'm just desiring this new, fresh week ahead. Like I want my Capricorns to wake up Monday morning feeling like just powered up and ready to go. Um, and then the Knight of Swords too is just all about swift movements. He's full force ahead. He doesn't look back. He's not worried about the next step, the next move that he's going to make. He's just simply focused in that present moment. So really, really powerful um, energy for my Capricorns. You guys are busy busy busies. You guys work your butts off. Um, you guys are always, you know, rehashing and, and <laughs> recreating within your workspace. So I feel like this, this energy is just nothing new to you. This is all familiar territory. Um, so lots of risk taking and newness this week for you guys. So with that said, this concludes your weekly energy reading for my earth signs. Thank you so much for you guys tuning in. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer this layout, if you prefer seeing the cards, seeing me, um, or if you prefer the other way that I was doing it, or if you even miss the 10 minute, like I just like swiftly went through all of the energies really fast on Instagram. Let me know your thoughts. I'm always open to hearing what you guys have to say and what you guys think. And until then, I will see you guys next week. Bye loves.